This video was requested by Lego Ninlas, Henry II, Julio Castillo, Samurai 10, and Atina Covington. Hello and welcome back to Quirk Analysis 101, the series where I give you a detailed rundown on the quirks in the world of My Hero Academia. In the last video, I discussed the ability that belongs to the multi-armed, multifaceted, and multifunctional monster of Class 1A, Meizo Shoji, with his many peni producing quirk, Dupla Arms. I'm just saying he's a teenage boy who can reproduce any body part. You know he's replicating them family jewels. In today's video, I'll be discussing the quirk that belongs to the new number one hero, Mr. Hot Stuff himself, senior don't talk to me or I'll beat you harder than I beat my family, NG Todoroki, aka Endeavor. Also, don't forget to Detroit smash that like button and slide into that subscribe button's DMs to hit that notification bell. Now, without further ado, let's fire our way on over to the ferocious, flaming, hellishly hot quirk that is Hellflame. Hellflame is an emitter type quirk which first appeared in chapter Tree of the My Hero manga and episode 4 of the anime. This quirk grants its user the ability of pyrokinesis, which is the ability to produce and manipulate large amounts of extremely intense fire with your mind. That's right, Endeavor controls and produces his flames with his mind. This is why he has such great control over not only the form and shape of the flames he creates, but also in their temperature. He can raise them up to white hot infernos, ideal for taking down powerful massive villains, or he can lower them to smoldering embers. Perfect for backhanding your son who is just trying his best and not living up to the unrealistic and unreasonable expectations you have of him. What? This quirk is called Hellflame for a reason, and it ain't about to fire. Hellflame also grants the user a resistance to all forms of fire, whether it's from an external source or it's the very flames they create themselves. Basically, while Endeavor technically can be burned thanks to this quirk, it would take an ungodly amount of heat to even come close to scratching his skin. And I mean, come on, it's not like Endeavor would ever end up in a situation with that sort of heat anyway. <laughs> Oh yeah, he do like to go beyond like that though. And now it's time to talk about this quirk's abilities. And as you would expect with a quirk that belongs to the X number two, now number one hero, there are quite a number of them. For starters, there's the surprising amount of mobility benefits this quirk offers. For quick vertical movement, the user can heat up the soles of their feet to anchor themselves to walls through molten footprints. This allows the user to run up and across any wall, which if I do say so myself, is a pretty baller move and it looks cool as all all hell as seen here. But if you don't want to have to pay for building damages and are looking to be a bit more practical, you can also just fly. By expelling fire jets through the soles of their feet, the user can suspend themselves in the air and they can also eject said flames outwards from their feet or from their back to propel themselves forward through the sky, essentially giving them the ability to fly. So basically, by shooting a concentrated blast of heat energy behind them, the user launches themselves through the air. Air. It's almost identical to how Bakugo uses his explosions to propel himself. Now, the exact speed at which the user can fly at hasn't been specified, but we know it's pretty damn fast, as we've seen Endeavor swiftly and easily maneuver past the likes of Bakugo, Midoriya, and Todoroki. So yeah, this cat's got wheels. When it comes to combat, this quirk is insanely versatile as well. For close range, the user can surround themselves in sweltering flames, making it almost impossible for for anyone to actually get close, keyword being almost impossible. Or they can grab onto their opponent and create insanely powerful concentrated blasts of heat through the points of contact, just like Endeavor did against Nomu during the Hosu incident. For medium range combat, the user can shoot out flames like a flamethrower, and for long range, they can just shoot out those flames even further. It hasn't actually been said what the reach limitations on this ability are, but from what we've seen, it can definitely fit into the long range range quirk category with ease. Also, I want to point out that while it may not seem that versatile at long range, essentially just turning the user into a human flamethrower, remember that the user of this ability has full control over the volume and intensity of the flames they produce. So a mid to long range flamethrower blast can vary from a weak and small yet dangerous warning shot all the way to your best hope they're filming a Vietnamese war movie close by because Fortunate Son is playing and somewhere is about to be napalm. Plus, I have even started to talk about Hellflame's named super moves, for which there are a plethora of. For starters, there is Endeavor's signature super move, which is called Flash Fire Fist. 
For this move, Endeavor raises his fire's temperature to its highest level, maximizing his power, allowing him to unleash devastating flame attacks while also increasing his speed dramatically. While using this technique, Endeavor can also perform a number of unique super powerful attacks, such as Flash Fire Fist, Jet Burn, in which he concentrates his flames into a white hot point on his fist and punches, sending a fiery beam into his target while knocking them backwards. There is also Flash Fire Fist, Hell Spider. For this super move, Endeavor concentrates his flames into white hot points on his fingertips and emits numerous beams of fire from them to slice through his target. These fiery beams are actually extremely powerful and fast, as we have seen Endeavor use them to utterly decimate the top five floors of a high rise building. Like, he utterly obliterates that building. Another super move that can be performed in conjunction with Flash Fire Fist is Flash Fire Fist Hell's Curtain, in which the user throws both of their fists backwards while concentrating all of their flames into a single point and then throws them forward, releasing the concentrated fire, emitting a massive blanket of flames. Think of it like Endeavor's AoE attack. As for super moves that are non-Flash Fire Fist related, take a shot every time I say Flash Fire Fist in this video, there are multiple. Ignited Arrow is a super move in which Endeavor shapes his flames into a large harpoon-like arrow and throws it forcefully penetrating and burning his opponent simultaneously. This is probably one of my favorite super moves because it seems so unnecessary but looks so damn cool. Speaking of cool looking moves, another awesome looking technique the user of this quirk can perform is Karmic Ray's Hellfire Storm. To perform this technique, Endeavor ignites his flames and pumps his fist upward, releasing an intense tornado of fire that can engulf anything in its path. Now that's badass. Endeavor can also manipulate the tornado's range and intensity based on the surrounding air currents. And he can cancel the tornado instantly if needed. See, this is why it's important to wish for pyrokinetic abilities rather than just plain old fire powers. One will let you create flames, and the other will let you create motherfucking flame tornadoes. There's a big difference. Raging Assault Hell Minefield is another interesting technique Endeavor can perform. Form. And this attack actually consists of two phases. In the first phase, Endeavor ignites his fists and slams them into the ground, causing the surface to crack. He then lights his fire into the cracks, sending a wave of intense flames towards his opponent. In the second phase, Endeavor creates an intense eruption of flames underground, resulting in the ground above erupting in violent explosions, increasing the range and strength of this attack. In simple terms, Endeavor punches his fist into the ground, makes his flames travel underground, and then makes them shoot up from underground towards his target. This move is actually very useful as not only is it extremely hard to dodge and predict, but it also messes with your opponent's footing, leaving them with a severely limited number of options for defense, if any. There is also the super move Vanishing Fist, which is very similar to Flash Fire Fist Jet Burn, except instead of concentrating his flames into a white hot point on his fist, Endeavor engulfs his entire arm in searing hot flames before striking his opponent with a powerful hook and releasing said flames into them. As in regards to an ultimate move, Hellflame does indeed have one, and it's called Prominence Burn. For this move, Endeavor uses the full might of his flames to emit a concentrated beam of heat from his whole body that is capable of entirely vaporizing any target. Now, compared to some of his other super moves, Prominence Burn may seem fairly lackluster. Like, it sure as hell ain't no flaming tornado, but let's just say in practice, this ultimate move is quite... Spectacular. Now, unfortunately, just like every other quirk in the series, Hellflame does come with its fair share of weaknesses. The first and most notable of which is the user's resistance to the flames. While the user of this quirk can withstand high temperatures well, well beyond that of any normal person, they are not immune to heat. Meaning that overuse of this quirk due to something like consecutive powerful attacks or drawn out battles will result in the user's body temperature reaching dangerous 
force levels, causing them to pass out or severely impairing their physical capabilities. Basically, the user of this quirk can overheat. In fact, just using one flash fire fist technique pushes the user to their limits, and any immediate additional attacks made after the flash fire fist attack will begin to take an effect on the user. Another weakness this quirk suffers from is water. Yes, even in Hellflame's case, water does in fact still counteract fire. In the rain, Hellflame gets weakened, reducing the user's speed and maximum power output. Underwater, this quirk is rendered practically useless. All of your flames would immediately be put out, and if you tried to raise your heat to evaporate the water, you would end up boiling yourself alive in the process. And trust me, we know boiling water can hurt Hellflame users. <laughs> If you are in an area with highly flammable objects or substances, you would have to limit your usage of this ability, as to not set said flammable objects ablaze. If you're dealing with hostages, you would have to be extremely wary of collateral damage as all it takes is one wrong move, and you not only got a burning pile of bones on your hands, but also a court case. There is also the fact that this quirk is probably extremely hard to master. Endeavor spent his entire life perfecting Hellflame and making the most out of it. But realistically, the vast majority of people would never put in the same amount of work. I mean, hell, even in the My Hero world, Endeavor's work ethic is seen as insane and unnatural. This means that if any old average Joe were to wield this quirk, they would get nowhere near the same amount of usage out of it that Endeavor does. But the most devastating weakness of this quirk is your clothes. While Endeavor happens to live in a world where he can easily get access to fire retardant clothing, in our world common clothing is pretty damn flammable. So if you ever wanted to get your flame on, you would probably lose every clothing item on you. And depending on your self-confidence, you could lose your dignity as well. But now, it's time to talk about this quirk's potential, which, to be honest, thanks to Endeavor having already dedicated his entire life to perfecting his ability, there isn't really that much. The user of this quirk could raise up the temperature of any metal to its melting point. This would not only be great for metal-based enemies, Tetsu Tetsu, but it would also allow the user to essentially weld metal at will. Think Superman fixing buildings or other contraptions using his heat vision. For a more tactical maneuver, since fire takes up oxygen, the user of this quirk could burn up all of the oxygen in a confined space, suffocating anyone trapped within. Since this quirk grants its user pyrokinetic abilities, they could potentially gain enough power to control any and all flames, not only the ones they produce. This means that they could extinguish large forest fires or burning buildings with a snap of a finger. It would also mean that anything they light on fire would then become an asset in combat. And plus, if you really want to get crazy, you could also technically control the sun. Too hot? Ah, cool down the sun. Too cold? Let's warm it up a bit. Let's see all might compete with that power. But the most amazing potential this quirk has to offer is the fact that you could turn coal into diamonds. Yes, you heard me right. When put under an insane amount of pressure and extreme heat, coal gets converted into diamond. So all Endeavor would have to do is place some coal between his ash cheeks, clench up, flame on, and boom, diamonds for days. And that's everything you need to know about the quirk Hellflame. Overall, this is undoubtedly one of the most powerful quirks in existence, and it's real easy to see how Endeavor became the number one hero. When it comes to combat, it's practically unmatched, with very little being able to come close to stopping it. It offers great mobility, and it's super versatile. Although I will say its real-world practicality compared to other quirks is kind of questionable, but I've always had a soft spot for flame-based superpowers. Hours. So I would 100% take it. But let me know what you think. Would you like to have the Hellflame quirk? And what quirk would you like me to cover in this series next? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Plus Ultra.